So you wanna know what makes up the best solar panel installation. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you five elements that make up a successful solar installation so that you know what to look for before choosing your solar contractor. Okay, so in today's video, we're talking about what makes up the best solar panel installation. And I think the first thing that most folks look at and you're gonna to wanna to analyze is what is the total cost? Uh, or what is the total cost per watt? Now, when you're talking about a solar power system for your home, especially if you're in the process of soliciting bids from contractors, you might get proposals or price quotes that are a little bit different in terms of the total number of solar panels or the total wattage or the, the total energy production forecasted on the system. So one of the first things you're going to want to look at is what is the total cost per watt you simply take the total contract price of the proposal or the total cost of the project and divide it by the total wattage of the solar panels and and so what this is going to give you is an easy way that you can compare the quotes side by side with a more equal apples to apples comparison instead of looking at the total cost of the project you're looking at what's the total cost per unit of power provided. Now, similarly to that, you're gonna to wanna to take a look at what is the total cost per kilowatt hour of energy produced. Because at the end of the day, what you get credited for and what the power company is billing you for is what is the kilowatt hour usage of your home. So although looking at the solar panel wattage is interesting, that's basically telling you what's the maximum instantaneous wattage that that panel could put out under ideal lab conditions. The real number that's gonna affect your electric bill offset is what is your total energy produced in kilowatt hours. And of course, assuming your utility has a solar buyback program, those kilowatt hours are going to credit against your electric usage. But that, that's really telling you what is the usable energy, energy that your home can consume or that you can sell back to the power company and offset what you might have to buy back from them later. Um, how much energy is this system going to produce uh, over the course of an entire year? Uh, or in some cases, over the course of the entire lifetime of the system. Now. As we've discussed in previous videos, solar panels degrade at various rates. And so when we talk about the degradation rate, what we mean is that over time, solar panels lose a small percentage of their performance each year as the solar panels age. And so another factor to consider is not just what is the year one production of the system, but what is the total energy produced over the entire lifetime of the system. And so if you're using a more efficient solar panel that has a lower degradation rate, even though you might have a slightly higher year one cost per kilowatt hour, the overall lifetime cost per kilowatt hour of the system may be less. Now, if you'd like to learn more about solar panel degradation rates and efficiencies, go back and watch our previous video on the top three most efficient solar panels going into 2024, where we give you our recommendations as well as explain how module efficiency and degradation works. Now, when it comes time to actually inspect the physical installation itself, of course, one of the first things you're going to look for is proper waterproofing around all of the roof attachments. Um, this is about the worst thing that can happen on a solar installation is for the roof to not be penetrated and sealed properly, meaning that the next time it rains, you might have water dripping down from your roof into your living room. And this is not the kind of situation that you want to end up in as a solar homeowner. So I would say in terms of inspecting the physical installation itself, making sure that you have proper waterproofing around all the roof attachments is critical. Hey, by the way, leave a comment below if you or if anybody you know has a solar horror story where the contractor did a quick and dirty job and didn't seal the roof properly and had to deal with roof damage down the road. Now, the fourth thing I would look at, uh, and, and again, if I was the inspector here and I, I've sat on many solar inspections, but the, the fourth thing that you wanna look at is just the aesthetic mounting of the components. Are all the components mounted flush, plumb, level? Do all the conduits, are the, all the conduits plumb, level, clean 90 degree turns? Because that, that type of quality of workmanship indicates quality in other parts of the system that may not be as easily visible, like inside your conduits or inside your junction boxes. You know, the, the saying goes, you know, how you do one thing is how you do everything. And I find that that's a pretty good indicator when it comes to electrical contracting. So if, if the contractor is cutting corners as far as having, you know, clean 90 degree bends, uh, making sure all that the conduits are properly secured, properly fastened, 
chances are they're cutting corners in other parts of the installation that you can't see, which could lead to long-term system failure. And then finally, on that note, we wanna look for proper wire management and grounding. Uh, this is another one of the first things that the inspector is going to look at um, when, when taking a look and analyzing a finished solar installation is proper wire management and grounding. And so one thing you might do is you might look underneath the solar panel array to see are there any wires that are hanging down that are sagging and touching the roof surface. You shouldn't see any of that. All of those wires should be strapped up underneath the solar module so everything is clean. Uh, because frankly, what, what can happen over time if you have a wire that's kind of sagging down and resting on the roof surface, um, over time with wind and rain, that wire will actually start to sort of chafe off against the, the roof surface. If you're talking about a shingle roof, eventually it could actually eat away at the insulation around the wiring and you could have live voltage on your roof. So very important to look for proper wire management um, as well as proper grounding. And this is another one of the things, it's, it's easy for a city inspector to come out and look to see if the grounding was done properly. If we see problem at the grounding, that's when he's typically gonna start digging in further and chances are we'll find other defects in the installation leading to a failed inspection. Well, this has been a quick discussion of five factors that make up a successful solar panel installation. Um, as always, folks, if you're getting good value from the videos we have here on Solar Surge, uh, make sure you give us a thumbs up uh, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. Uh, that way, as we have new videos coming out on the channel, it'll come up on your homepage and on your feed so you can stay up to date with us. Uh, now, of course, if you're in the process of looking at different solar panel options for your home, uh, if you need to get a, a price quote from a reliable contractor or maybe you already have a quote you just need to get a comparison quote uh, make sure that you're getting the right equipment and the best deal um, as always you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below there set a set up a, a call with a solar expert uh, or you can just use the free online uh, estimate tool so that you can find out what solar and storage costs in your area well that pretty much does it for today's video I thank you for spending some more time with solar surge as always I'm Joe Ordia here encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. All right, I hope you're getting some great value from today's video content. Now, if you would like to have your business or product or technology featured on the Solar Surge channel, we can help you do that. Feel free to use the link below to set up a call with our media team so that we can discuss your marketing goals and how Solar Surge can help you get there. Solar Surge is the leading online community in the U.S. residential solar and energy storage space. And so if you would like to have your business or product or technology introduced to our audience, we can help you do that. Uh, again, feel free to reach out to us on the link below to set up a call with our media team or email media at solarsurge.net.